for 2015 we left the 106 unchanged because the guys really liked it we did new shapes for the 101 and the 92 so we played around a lot with the volume distribution because this has big effects what we're going to hear from steven just now we increased the thickness in the center of the board a little bit and then reduced it a little bit towards the tail the new volume distribution makes the the board spinning faster and also the switch stance stance is much more comfortable because uh, the volume distribution is more in the center so it's more thicker in the middle so wh while you go switch you have more natural stance and also it keeps the board easier planing and also the just early planing because your with freestyle you have your stance more forward and also the sail power is more forward so it's important to have the volume in the center of the board. With the new 92 and the new volume distribution it means that you've got a much more compact board so that you're it feels like you're standing on a much more solid platform which helps a lot with popping into moves and also with early planing as well. We made the board a bit uh, shorter and wider. Uh, this really helps with uh, after you come out of power moves. I really feel that it's so easy to double pop or slide into another 360 and uh, yeah, that really feels good. Further, I also find it such a unique board because right now it's 92 liters. I never need to use uh, actually a 100 liter board because um, in all conditions I just get to use this board and uh, yeah, all, all around for my size, it's uh, perfect. We also did some changes to the outline. We made the board slightly wider around the front strap. The result is that the outline becomes a little bit more parallel in that part of the board. That means that the board has a bigger planing surface. And uh, so the board is planing much earlier, which is uh, really important in freestyle. And in the 92, we made that actually a bit more extreme. We've got the same tail as before, but it's much wider up here, which gives you more curve in this back section, which is much better for going into moves like shackers and things like that. Another key feature on the freestyle board is the tuck line. The new generation of boards, we keep it really sharp through the middle and in the front, really soft and round. And what this means is that when you land a move and start sliding, it means that the rails don't catch. But then at the back, where you want faster acceleration and top speed, and also, because we're using smaller fins, you need a better directional stability, and that's why we have them nice and sharp at the back. Another detail is that we made our mast track a little bit smaller, as we don't really need a long mast track to move our mast foot around. And this helps us save weight, and saving weight is always a very important thing on our freestyle boards, as we want it to be as light as possible. And uh, yeah, so we can go as high as possible. Overall, the new 101 and 92 are in line with the latest freestyle developments and we're confident that we're going to be able to go bigger and higher than ever before.